All right, we're back in the reaction chair because as I mentioned in a previous video, we have a new Netflix movie that just came out and this time it is a book adaptation. Uglies premiered on Netflix Friday, September 13th and originally in my first video i asked if you guys would like for me to review it so i looked up the movie this morning because i wanted to get an idea for the runtime and i happened to look on rotten tomatoes it has a 20 percent freshness rating not very good it's not looking good for us in the book community but i thought i'd give it the benefit of the doubt and i decided i'm going to watch this movie one way or another so i already reviewed the book so if you want to see that you can watch that video i'll put a little card up there so you can check it out out. The biggest concerns that I saw from people in the comment section of that video as well as just like the general forum online is that people were a little nervous about how the directors and in general Netflix was going to approach this idea of uglies versus pretties because when you're reading a book and the author says like oh these people are ugly it's all in your imagination you never have to actually like think or God forbid compare to other people about what you think is pretty versus ugly but now we're seeing it in an actual movie so so there's a lot of concerns and hesitations that I saw from people on the internet. So I thought I would, you know, put myself through it first and then you can decide after this if you still want to watch the movie. But without further ado, let's get into it. All my life I wanted to be pretty. Ugh, oh, girl. <laughs> I thought it would change everything. You and me both. Oh, those but damn orchids. The, the CGI nature. on that was kind of... People's differences iffy. continue to... Right off the bat, we have narration, which CinemaSins will already tell you is not good. Main character narration is very 2012 coded. Definitely dystopian coded. For nostalgia purposes, I'm kind of liking it. It's, it's definitely giving that like, ah, uh, cringe. <laughs> I like it so far though. The transformation. They're giving transgender surgeries to aliens in prison? I feel pretty. like I'm looking into something but that's AI generated. Mirror, make me pretty? Sure, Tally. This is Morpha version 732. Does that mean she's done it 732 times? Honestly, the only thing that looks different is that it's like she had color contacts and she was wearing makeup. Oh, what took you so long? Uh, my legs are shorter. <laughs> <laughs> what are those glasses? What was that Google Pixel Zoom? There's so much it hurts. I mean, you will be there. Exactly. Yeah, but not tomorrow, like you. Okay, my first impression. <laughs> I this is early. Um, I think. Okay, we are familiar with like Disney acting. Like that's a thing. Disney actors have a specific style that they're taught to act in. So usually they have a lot of trouble when trying to break into like mainstream media because they were conditioned to have this like super dramatic, like almost theatrical way of acting. Controversially, I think Netflix actors have a similar acting style. They may tally like very girly pop in this film so far. Like she seems like she's having too good of a time. Like someone needs to tell Joey King that she's in a dystopia. <laughs> Back to business. Ghost giant nose will haunt you forever just like i'll always be squint listen all i'm gonna say is in the words of doja cat i like noses i like big noses you know the rest meet me at the bridge in one month and i will tell you about everything really okay i kind of like this like this is feeling very romance definitely doesn't feel like they were trying to make this a YA dystopian so far i i am liking it because in the book paris has already turned pretty so we don't get this like beforehand scene and like we're supposed to like him he's supposed to be like a love interest quote unquote but i never liked it because the first time you actually meet him he's kind of an asshole so i like this we see him as a normal person before he turns pretty i give you a point netflix only one. Just because you're ugly doesn't mean you're <laughs> slow. When I get all your legs, I'm going to destroy you. She's gonna get her knees done? See, David? I heard he's dangerous. He's a revolutionary. Yeah, he's seven feet tall and walks on water. <laughs> David is Jesus? That is the only proper way For to introduce Laverne Cox. Today, that will make you perfect, both inside and out. Hey, wait a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We did not have a whole TikTok trend where people did and still continue to do freckles, fake freckles on their face, spraying hair dye into their face so that they could have freckles for you to make it seem like it's supposed to be something that is ugly. I resent this freckles are ugly um, propaganda. Paris. That's how you spell Paris's name? With an E? I already didn't like the name Tally. 
But now you hit me with Paris with an E. I love that they still stuck with the nickname Squint, even though her eyes are literally like doe eyes. How were they still trying to stick with the whole Squint thing? Give me the toothbrush pill, please. Toothbrush Why pill? Oh no, 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 no. You can't tell me that this is some perfect utopia where you don't rely on uh, fossil fuels and you use renewable resources and this is supposedly a great society, which we already know it's not because hello, dystopia. But you're not gonna sit there and show me a toothpaste pill and act like that's supposed to be my dream, my desire. Brush your damn teeth. You know what? And maybe they don't, because maybe they're like, who cares? I'm gonna turn pretty anyway. Like they're just gonna give me a procedure. They're gonna fix my teeth, who cares? Either way, that was awful, that was wild. Why they devoted screen time to that, I couldn't tell you. And why she continuously has a projection of a pretty version of her on her wall, awful. You'll certainly be prettier without the squinty eyes. Squint, nose and squint. I like it, what's wrong? They went a little too hard on the, the squinty eyes. I said this in my book review where it's like that, it's, it seems like it might be a bit too much. You're teetering on problematic, just, just a tad. <sighs> of all the things to really decide that, hey, we should be true to the source material, they had to go with squint. Literally vile. But I was gonna say that the casting of young Joey King, um, spot on. They look very similar. I like it. Uh-uh, girl, there is no way you are pretending that that is slick and no one can see that. Also, how did you even send that? Where's the keyboard? You guys should have really agreed on like a time. Maybe that would have helped. Like just saying like in one month is kind of not enough. Where did that rope come from? Is that a bra? Oh no, it's a mask. <laughs> it turns you into Cinderella. You're lying right now. See, but no one's no one else is wearing a mask. Do you know where Garbo Mansion is? Uh, see, this I don't like. How did okay. If you haven't read the book, you wouldn't know. If you're just watching the movie, this will confuse you. You won't understand what Garbo Mansion is because there's literally been no reference to it. This is a little messy. I'm just gonna put that out there. This mask did not do all that in the show. Is that Jake from State Farm? Hold on. Where is he? Like that's Jake from State Farm. Th that's him. I like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. It's me. You are an idiot for doing that. What is wrong with you? What are you? What are you doing here? I mean, you weren't at the bridge. Yeah. So you, you snuck in. I was worried. You're never late. Yeah. I don't know. Things are just different here. I didn't really know what we'd talk about. Okay. This is my problem. This is my beef. This looks like the exact same dude literally the exact same dude. This does not look any different than who he was when he was quote unquote ugly. The only difference is the golden eyes. Like there's nothing else real, like his hair color, sure. But I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Your scar, you promised me. I woke up from surgery and I realized I just didn't really want it anymore, Tally. Oh my God, originally in the book, it wasn't, oh, I woke up and I decided I didn't want the scar. It was like, oh, well, in the surgery, they they change everything. Like they fix all the imperfections. You just don't have them. He didn't do it maliciously. Like he's being an asshole, but it's not because of malicious reasons. I won't spoil it, but there's a reason that he's acting like this. So for them to like turn him into the villain is, ugh, it's so cheap, I don't like it. What in the twilight was that? <laughs> Also, I'm kind of hating the outfit that they're wearing. I think, you know, call me crazy. I think they're ugly. <laughs> Maybe that's the point. That was so corny. That was so ridiculous. What do you mean she dropped a rock in the river? And this sophisticated piece of machinery essentially did a... <laughs> What? Are you kidding me? Oh, this is very messy CGI. This, this looks awful. I'm getting a headache. However much they paid the VFX person, you paid them too much. That was an awful experience. <laughs> I'm not a VFX person. I know it's hard, but I do expect a little bit better. <laughs> what I also don't like is that in the books, like they did have these nicknames, it was a thing, 
but it wasn't like oh we don't use our real names until after we turn pretty it was like like they were just nicknames they still called each other by their real names so this weird like no don't call me tally call me shit face <laughs> like it's just kind of ridiculous and a little bit too eccentric it's almost like they're really trying to convince us that these actors really are ugly and i promise you they're not they pay a lot of money to not be i always hated that shay's like ugly nickname was skinny because i'm like we live in a world where god forbid like a woman is bloated or she eats a meal suddenly the world will turn around and be like oh my god she looks pregnant she's pregnant any person in the world will tell you that being skinny is not an insult it's not like an ugly feature there are so many other people that will talk about this but i just i hate this rhetoric of like people being like oh my god i'm skinny and i'm ugly like no you fit the beauty standard i'm sorry to tell you the fact that they're trying to sell this to me as something that makes a person ugly you you got the wrong audience right now the movie starts with tally literally body checking herself in the mirror so you're not going to show me that and then in the same breath tell me that being skinny is an ugly trait like once you get going the crash braces work you've got this you'll be a natural it's just floating in mid-air. It looks so photoshopped in. Like, why does it look like that? It doesn't even have like an idol animation or nothing. Ooh, you see, I know dystopian novels and dystopian media is very like early 2010s core, but we didn't need to lean into it that much. This VFX looks like it's from 2010. Why is it so shaky? Is this Chicago? I saw, wait a fucking minute. You, that, 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 that was the parking garage. That is the parking garage. Also seen in, I forget, I think it's a Batman movie. Okay, you can't convince me otherwise. This is Chicago. And there are no more phones or tablets. I like tablets and I like more phones. And everyone is exactly who they're born to be. They're free. I don't want to be free, I want to be pretty. Damn. And see, that's, that's, that's the message. You waited your entire life. So question, do they do this ceremony every single day? Because it has to be someone's birthday every single day. And if I had friends and they were all the same age, but they just all had different birthdays and I had to attend every, I don't know if I would, personally. Roger Is that Kim Kardashian? Well, maybe a night back at the dorms will help you remember. Oh, Laverne Cox is eating up this roll. Just try to remember. Oh, she is eating so irrevocably in this roll. Oh, that was, ooh, that was chilling. I, ooh, I love Laverne Cox. Oh my god, that that was good. Oof. Oh, thank you, girl. Literally, I have chills. Like, actually, I don't know if you can tell. My like hairs are standing up. Paris? Oh wait, he does show up. I remember now. It has all become apparent to me that all of the budget went to Laverne Cox. Obviously, her hair, her makeup, her wardrobe, because these outfits, chef's kiss. So far, all the outfits I've seen on the pretties, they look like they came from Forever 21. This, this is dystopian. This is very much a woman in power. You can get the procedure, as you've always wanted, or you can head into the unknown. Save your friend. Save us all. See, but the point is that she's not supposed to have a choice. Like, this should be her only option. Because her thing is like, I want to be pretty. So if you're telling her like, oh, we can still make you pretty without going through all this, what's what's the incentive? It's above me. Where were you holding that, that you dropped it? She had that in her hands and then dropped it. Why were you carrying it in your... Anyway, I can't feel bad for you. That You were just stupid. Also, do we think these are real orchids? Thank you for coming to see me, Paris. Ooh. She reminded me of the way that I was, who I was, and I kind of missed that. You got all that from like a minute conversation you had with her? I don't, they're really like not set on who Paris is supposed to be as a character because we meet him and he's nice and he's friendly and he's charming and whatever and they obviously have a romance going which was not in the book but regardless and then suddenly he's an asshole and he's ignoring tally and he's like you wouldn't get it you're ugly and then suddenly i'm in love with tally again 
Be consistent. We've been working on a brand new path for a select few just like you, Paris. What is going on? This is not in the book. I can make you very special. What is happening? That did not happen in the books. I really could not tell you what they're doing to him. Oh, who's carrying her bridal? If this is David, I'll be pissed. It's not supposed to be David. Who are you? I'm David. Oh, give me a break. David, respectfully. First of all, this is not supposed to be happening right now. Second of all, we couldn't wait until we were, I don't know, further away from the fire to do this. Oh, absolutely. All of the budget went to Laverne's outfits. She's had, th no, I want to say, I think either three or four outfit changes. It's only been like 40 minutes and she has only shown up in the last like real, honestly, 20 minutes. She's had three outfit changes. It's also wild to me that she has it on the outside and she didn't like tuck it in at all. <laughs> Also, I just realized they did not explain why that whole field was up in flames. Again, if you have not read the books, you would not understand what's happening. You would just be like, why did this field spontaneously combust? This is a movie I think that they really made for the fans, for the people that have already read Uglies, which is not necessarily bad, but this book, again, was published in 2006. You are relying on a fan base that has to be like a diehard fan base for almost 20 years. Did you come here to try to bring me back? In the book, she's characterized as being like a literal master manipulator, like so effortlessly being able to lie. This girl could not lie to save her life. Who is this person? I'm really losing the plot of the movie because I know how it's supposed to go. So I don't, I don't know what we're doing here. And my battery is dead again. Mm. That was very CGI. That was Grey's Anatomy level CGI. Also, she should have died if she fell from a straight helicopter. See now, how are they holding onto that rope? Cause if it was me, I would have let go. I have no upper body strength. I would not have been able to hold on, especially to a helicopter. No. 7.30? Hey, yo! Hey, wait, 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 eh? wait a minute. I looked aside for two seconds. Oh my God, what are we doing? Why are we pretending this is a romance? What is going on right now? Everyone has to work, even our elders. We don't have money, so we share things and trade. So they live in a commune is what I'm hearing. Before you came here, how many times a day did you think about how you looked? She. What's wrong with you? She. Don't even ask. <laughs> I miss the part in the books, like when she comes to the smoke and she meets all these people. And her first reaction upon meeting, like even David, her love interest, is like, damn, you guys are ugly. <laughs> I'm missing the crucial part where we see her have to like really come face to face with her morals and values and what she's been taught versus what she's learning. I think we're still very much staying surface level on what the book was trying to say about like beauty standards. So we have time to go more in depth. She still has that cut on her forehead and it's still like red and bloody. Time has not passed. Is this all the same day? It looks even more bloody than it did yesterday. Hold on, I'm going back. Yes, look at that. That is that is scabbed over, that's tiny, that's healed. And then we go to the fucking present and it's all red again. Look at that. That looks like it just happened. Are those David's gloves? Yeah, I had them um, start getting blisters on my hand. Wait, you gave them to you? Yeah, it, I don't understand. Objects have a different value here, Tally. He made those. They didn't come out of some wall. People think really hard about the gifts they give. He likes you. Okay, that conversation could have been a little bit longer. Listen, if they hadn't spent so much of the runtime doing like stupid shit at the beginning of the movie with them on their little hoverboards and her doing a little cartoon running and falling off the hoverboard. We would have had time to develop scenes like this. It wasn't easy to some say that you radicalize people. All oh, social change is seen as radical at first. <laughs> End of the movie. That's all I need to hear. That's all I need to hear. He cooked, he cooked. <laughs> what, are, what are you trying to say here, Netflix? If you told me he was gonna lay down something like that at the beginning of this fucking movie, I would not have believed you. That was prolific. <laughs> I'm radicalized. Thank you. David? Also, I'm kind of geeking about these houses. They look nice. Sorry, I'm sorry. 
It's okay. But you, you both look so much like David. I've just never really seen that before. Can into the books. Can into the books. Your smile. That's why he's so handsome. <laughs> okay. I didn't say you were perfect. You still got the family freckles. <laughs> <laughs> what is this hatred on freckles? Freckles are endearing. That was the first thing I noticed about him, and I thought they looked rather nice. These lesions in the frontal cortex, they dull you. You don't care about anything. You can't think clearly. You're sedated into a false sense of happiness. The lesions were not a side effect of the surgery. They were the purpose. Ooh. Hey, hey, yo. What you do? The way you think makes you beautiful. Okay, this is, it was already really quick in the books. Like it was already like really forced. And this came out of fucking nowhere. She saw him bathing himself in a pond. He taught her how to shoot a crossbow, gave her gloves, and then suddenly they're kissing. I've said this once and I'll say it again. I am a slow burn kind of person. Talk to me nice, take me on a date. I need time before I get here. You can't just throw me in. Also, He's supposed to say that he thinks that she is beautiful, that she is beautiful to him. And she's supposed to have this whole thing that's like, no, I'm like biologically ugly. And he's like, no, you're not. And then she's supposed to have this whole thing where she's like, you're ugly, but I don't think you're ugly. It's weird. Like she has that cognitive dissonance. Where is that? Ugh. I am kind of nervous because a lot is supposed to happen right here at the end. And we only have 30 minutes to do it. Oh, they just, they just came out the same tent. We both saw that, right? They came out the same tent. <gasps> Paris, what did they do to you? They gelled your hair? Oh, I'm sick. <laughs> That's a fifth outfit change. He has everything to do with this. He's trying to destroy everything we've built. Where is he? Oh, she is so prolific. See, and when you tell me that she's a pretty, I believe you. I believe you. Uh, I'm sorry. I know she's supposed to be the villain, but she is just like eating up this role so good. I, I get distracted. I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa, Jesus. So in the book, they're not so outwardly aggressive like that. The, he dies in the book for sure, but he dies from a complication of the surgery. Like they try to give him the procedure and he died. Like they didn't straight up kill him. I mean, they killed him for sure, but it wasn't like they snapped his neck and Paris definitely didn't do it. Paris also doesn't turn into one of the special circumstance pretties, which is what these people are. Oh my God, this was brutal. You didn't tell me that you would hurt anyone. Dang, dang, this is awful. No, see, this doesn't happen in the book either. I don't like that they made this decision because the whole thing is that she ends up finding David after the smoke is destroyed and together they go back to the city to rescue everyone. So her switch over to being like the savior and deciding that she's gonna help the people of the smoke is internal. It's not because, oh, I got exposed in front of all these people, so now I feel bad. It was her internal choice. So I didn't like that they did this. I think it's a bad choice. Not that big ass hole. Why are they using the door? <laughs> the literal massive hole. We only have 27 minutes. I fear this ending is not gonna be good. Dang. Is this gonna be an enemies to lovers now? Also, there was a separate plot point where Shay was super jealous of Tally that David was in love with her and she was all like mad about it. And that's the reason why she suspected her of being like a double agent. See, cause now her motivation is like, she feels bad and that's her boyfriend and she killed her boyfriend's dad. Her motivation is not, I did something wrong. I hurt these people that I have now grown very fond of. I need to make this right internally. He has a very long torso. Sophie, I need you in a face ring, please. I also, I love that they kept her name as Sussy. She's a sussy fuck. I hated that that was her name in the book, and I, I'm actually gagging that they kept that in the movie. How did no one hear that? Those metal ass stairs, not a single person. Not even these super soldiers. You guys aren't very super. You guys kind of suck. You know what else sucks? That she still has this cut on her forehead. I give you if it's scabbed over, it's red. <laughs> That sound effect was delayed. <laughs> I 
I, I will show you where the sound waves line up to the actual frame. They do not. <laughs> we messed up here, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry to tell you. I need that again. I need this. This is euphoric. <laughs> They gave her a BBL, a boob job, long hair. I was liking the short. <laughs> oh, that is vile. Also, recovery time. Also, like she still had a major surgery. What? <laughs> but I will say, this is the kind of transition that I was thinking of when going from ugly to pretty. Because the other people, like it was just filter. It was just like skin smoothing, different eye color, different hair color. This is a whole other person. If you told me this was played by the same actress as the other person, I would not believe you. They got it right. It's just so comical. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, her bangs are kind of everything though. Her hair is everything. Your hair is not. Get the gel away from this man. Okay, I do think this outfit was a miss. Either I need to see it closer or something. I don't like this dress to pants to cowboy boots. Plus, she's wearing gloves also. I, I'm, I'm conflicted. I think this is the first miss. I'm sorry, girl. So they ran out of money after outfits one through four. That, that scared me. Oh, Laverne! They burned you, girl! No! Uh-uh, not the final boss being Paris. Squint and nose. Forever, do you remember that? I'm sorry. I know it's supposed to be, like, really, like, emotional and deep or whatever, but squint and nose. <laughs> It's just so unserious. I'm sorry. Uh, Come on, I know you're still here. Oh, no, girl, he's not. He is buried under Botox right now. Nothing could bring him back. Girl, he about to snap your neck. He got there extremely fast. Damn, he punched him so hard, the hair gel got knocked out of place. That her scar got so much bigger. Did you see that cut on her forehead? It elongated. First, her scar was like over here and then it got small and then it got big and red again and then it got small again and now it's like from her hairline down to her eyebrow guys get a reference photo this is too much i can't do this dang where did the hoverboard come from she did not have it girl he won't die he is superhuman this was so dramatic for no reason and it's not even dramatic because he probably didn't die. He's supposed to be superhuman. I feel bad. And I know this is like not the, this is like the exact opposite point of the movie. Like literally by me saying this, I'm like missing the point and completely feeding into like what this book was trying to warn us against. But she looks really pretty. <laughs> I really like her dress. I really like her hair. Like I, I like the bangs. I <laughs> This is so not the point of the movie and so not the point of the book. This is like absolutely missing the point. This is the exact vibe of like, grab your friends, wear your florals, go see it ends with us. What is wrong with me? I'm so sorry. I apologize. This was like so tone deaf. You're so beautiful. Shut the fuck up. Cause I don't say that shit to me. I know he's not saying it to me, but don't do that to me. Ah. Oh, she's got a burn now. She's all... And we are fine. Oh, well, I was gonna say we're finally done. I guess we're not. Oh shit, my bad, sorry. She still has the scar. I finally finished this movie after, I don't know how many hours, how many tries, okay. So final thoughts, first of all. So the way that they portray like special circumstances, Dr. Cable, all the like villains of the story, it's too villainous. Like they were trying to give us President Snow, but in uglies. And the whole point of the book was like, the worst thing they could do to you was turn you pretty. It's supposed to be like, oh, well, like, how is that the worst thing that they could do to you? But it's because of the lesions on your brain, taking away your autonomy, your sense of self, your uniqueness, taking that away is worse than dying. And there's already so much impact with that versus like, having them just be like outright tyrants and violence and murderous. And so for them to just like, put that in there felt really cheap. It made it almost like a caricature of what the book originally was. So it definitely missed the mark. The CGI on this movie is so god awful. It's actually bad. I'm currently rewatching Grey's Anatomy, like 2015 Grey's Anatomy. This is the same level of CGI. We are in 2024. 
I expect the CGI to be a little bit better than this. What they did with Paris was so absolutely awful. At first I was like, oh, they're gonna turn him into special circumstances, okay. I was honestly down with that. But then like this whole end business and like, again, they're really not sold on what kind of character Paris is supposed to be. He doesn't have that big of a role in the first book anyway. So I think they just wanted him to be a bigger presence, which is fine, whatever. I think that they really missed the mark on differentiating the uglies and the pretties they just gave them like those really cringy beauty filters where it's just like very heavily edited skin smoothing bronzer on max because again you're taking actors and actresses that are in hollywood and have to live up to hollywood beauty standards anyway and then trying to convince an audience of people that these people are ugly and you know it could be even bigger meta commentary on the fact that like, oh, well, that's because nobody that is ugly actually is ugly. It's all about perception. It's the fallacy that they're taught through this society that there is something that they should change about themselves. Whatever. I'll give you that. Cool. It was comical at times. I think it was very, very rushed. Like the actual plot of this movie was way too quick. We spend so much time with Tally at the beginning, hanging around, goofing with Shay and I think we could have cut that in half and then spent more time like developing the smoke, the characters, her relationship with Shay after she arrives at the smoke. We could have done so much more with the actual, I don't know, plot of the movie. I fear we lost the plot. I fear this is very hollow, very empty, ironically shallow. The highlight of this movie for me was Laverne Cox. She absolutely devoured this role i think personally that the budget for this movie probably went to her outfits probably went to her she was the star power on this film she absolutely delivered in this role joey king was okay at the beginning she is very like disney she's giving like sky jackson in her audition tape for euphoria just missing the mark and then we miss what I argue is the best part of the plot in the book, which is that Tally is a master manipulator and she's very good at lying, but people are still like catching her in these lies because the logic behind them doesn't always add up. And that tension that was added to the plot was really good in the book. And then they just completely get rid of it in the movie and it makes me upset. There was so much that could have been developed and yet they wasted it on those damn hoverboards. They wasted it on CGI scenes that weren't even good. Overall, this movie was a mess. If you're looking for a good laugh, I'd say watch it. If you love Uglies, if you love the series, the book series, if you are a diehard fan, save yourself. Don't, don't watch the movie. I'm not even a diehard fan of Uglies like that. I have yet to read the other books in this series, although I am planning on it. I only read Uglies for the very first time this year. I had never read Uglies before this. And I can tell you, this made me mad. I'm not even like a diehard fan like that. And this upset me. So save yourself. Don't watch the movie. Watch it for Laverne Cox. She did really well. But anyway, it's 8.30. I need to get ready for bed. This has been such a long time. There was sunlight coming in through that window when I started. And now there's not, which makes me a little sad. But anyway, that is the end of the video. Let me know if you liked it. If you're planning on watching the movie, if you already watched it, what are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments. Everyone together collectively cross your fingers that this doesn't get copyright strike because this is a reaction video and reaction videos are protected. I live in the good old US of A. This is supposed to be my God-given right to watch a movie, critique it, give my input, and upload it on the internet. Let me just let that be known. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I am so tired. This took way too long. I'm done now. Everyone say thank you, Laverne Cox. Thank you, Laverne Cox.